I'm back again for part three of the cave image. I just checked it on my phone and it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Actually, because it's it's darker, it's moodier than I thought it would be, and it's kind of nice. So I have to just visualize that part. And let me check. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just gotta check out because I did one video one time not too long ago I think about yesterday <laughs> and I did it like two hour one and it was just finished and I didn't do it on a new image I did it on an old image so I kind of lost two hours of work because I did it for nothing kinda so I'm checking it out sometimes right now we're back and we did in first part of the cave video we did the uh, finishing touches of the lines of course it is i can still see things that i think that should change but for now we're gonna stick with it in part two we did the shading and fixing it even more and then I wanted to see how it was and my um, my scratch folder was full so I just decided to make it a part three and that part is just gonna be it I think because I know now I have the image on my phone with me so I know what it is and right now I'm just gonna make a mental image so I know where I came from and what it is on my phone so we can go further from there. Now it is important that we match the backdrop with the girl. One way of doing that is with my great actions. Window actions. And I do not have anything. Anything. I don't have my, uh, my actions. I'm going to load them because I know that they are there I just gotta look at them for a minute let me just see it is not there oh my god I have a bunch of them but it's not the right one and I do not think I have the hard drive on it right now that has it I don't think so wait oh, there's another chance that I uh, where they are I try to keep everything close together and I have some and kind of nicely um, mapped right here it's all my overlays and everything but I got a little folder that says that it still needs to look so it doesn't have it in there so I'm just a bit peeped out I just gotta look and see it's not there either well guys we're gonna have to do it by hand it was a action from Kelly Brown about red lightning, lighting red skin. And that was so perfect for this. But I guess it's not. I don't have it right now. I do have it in the Dutch version. I got two versions on my laptop um, from Photoshop because uh, when I teach in Dutch, I need to have the Dutch version. And when I teach in English, you guys need to know the English version. So, with the English version, apparently don't keep the um, actions. So, I have to look right now. Adjustments. It's just all... My cat sat on my laptop while I was gone. So, it just changes, changes, changed everything. Um, we are going to do vibrance right now and see that's why i need it i need it to Mama! be Mama! Ha, the yes. i'm sorry Mama! my my son 
One second. One second. I'm sorry, my son's TV almost went out and he's not allowed to have the remote, so I had to fix that for a minute and he just acted like it was the end of the world. But that's children. <laughs> he's not always behind the, p the computer TV, uh, but sometimes he's allowed. So we go further. Um, there's a vibrance layer. I didn't change anything yet because I just wanted to rearrange my desktop. And we are now. I still have to look because I do. I am. Um, used to the Dutch version so I do have to think about what the English version was and if it's even there yes it is there it is <laughs> we got them um, first I'm a clipping mask on the girl because I just want it on the girl I can check I can show you see it's on the girl when you put it um, when it's just a normal layer it's on everything and when I put it on the girl uh, on the clipping mask it's just gonna go on the girl of course this is way too much I think but it's it is kind of good I don't know what the okay that's the first thing of getting rid of the reds and I think channel mixer oh it needs to be on there as well Oh my god, I'm not gonna go there, you guys. I don't know the channel mixer, so I'm not gonna go there like when I'm l learning it while I'm um, videoing for video taping for you. So I'm just gonna stick with what I know. And that is the um, selective color. It kind of does the same just a little less all in or how you call it I don't know my uh, English is just my English it's not my first language I kind of like it a little bit darker oh no I don't I shouldn't I was just looking at my image on my phone again and I'm like oh yeah I forgot it's already reddish and let me just see yeah it should be in that part it's really I'm just eyeballing this part because it's really difficult to have it um, it's not going to do anything it's not doing much either so I'm just going to keep that on zero I think I'm just going to leave that Although that does seem to do something. Zero. Well, that's about. Well, that's it for this part. <coughs> no, it's not for it for this part. I'm sorry. That is it for the selective color. Right now, I am checking it. It's not a very great image of her. I think it's sharp on this, not on her. But you know the the story behind shooting her was just really funny, kind of, because she didn't want my lights. She didn't want to do anything with my lighting and um, my um, um, my equipment, my camera. She didn't like it. She just cried. She didn't want to see it. So I had to hide it uh, under a blanket and just shoot from my um, my lap and just hope it I shoot right. And I kind of did. I did shoot right, but it's well. You can you can see I shot this this image totally open at about 24 uh, millimeters, and I got all my my whole little space and I got her and as you see I tried to have her face in the middle because I had my sharpness point in the middle and I kind of know a little bit my camera so I knew where to point and shoot and I made sure that it was kind of steady on my knee 
but apparently it decided to do to make this sharp instead of her I don't know why and I am hating this light it's that her hand is behind there if the, her hand wasn't behind that I could just cut it I could just go with the natural curve of this thing but right now it's not so I am going to fix it with a new layer and my son is talking again to me and I am going to fix it sorry about that sorry about that I'm going to make a clipping mask and I'm going to do the brush with the opacity of about 20 and I am going to make it bigger and the hardness soft. I think I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen. And this is why I don't like the normal um oh it's not even on dark sorry this is why i don't like but it's still going to do the same because see it's just going to make it not too nice but i think it's going to be better i think i'm going to cut that part anyway See, I'm just gonna go to the girl. I'm gonna do my brush again on the normal parts. Oh, actually, I might just put it to about 50% and see what's gonna happen. Oh, that's not it. I was um, painting on the um, layer instead of the layer mask. Not it's that it's making it any better actually, but that's because my hardness is high, and I think I need to make the opacity a little bit less. See, it's turning darker because I um, it the the, the um, under layer is darker. still doubting how it will look. I think I'm gonna go pixel level on this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to the let's see what it's called because I don't know I think patch tool although it's J so why isn't it the yeah the patch tool and I'm gonna see what I can do. Oh, that's not it. I need it to be on that layer. Yeah, well, I am not doing that. This is just me working as I go, so don't bite my head off that I'm not consistent because I am just going as it goes, kinda. Just so, let me see how that looks up there and see how the backdrop is going to go from it. This is why what happens with my uh, the opacity. I don't want that. So I'm just going to paint it back in. Oh, again, I went a little overboard here with too much and then I love this layer ma this masking come on guys why don't you guys love it I mean it's incredible oh I I wouldn't be able to do without it everybody just keeps telling me oh I hate clipping masks I hate masking and I don't know how to work with it and it's just so easy you just gotta learn and know it for a minute. I, I used to hate it. I think uh, I only know it about three years that I do it. Before I would just erase. No, it's, wait, it's seven years, I'm sorry. I wasn't, um, um, my, my son, my son wasn't born, born yet, so. Uh, let me check. Uh, 
here was the layer of the um, shadows and we are going to go back to the shadows because it's still here is lighter than here so I really want that fixed kind of so. but we have to make it natural looking and that's going to be the hardest part but right now I'm just going to etch it because I am going to uh, soften it from uh, that angle you're gonna see and then it's just gonna go and make it look better I hope because this is just me trying um, well I can do two, two things I can just lay a mask it again just the mi nice little mask and I can just do it that way, it's better because if I do something wrong it's no problem I want a big brush because I want to slowly, actually I want it a little because I made the brushy that way it's just gonna go smoothly it's probably still not perfect but it's better It is better. I'm just gonna name it Shadows. Um, I hate the cast light from my um, my white, my all white studio. And I'm gonna see if I can fix that. So I'm just gonna go with a, a curse layer. And I'm gonna lower it, I'm gonna clip it, and I'm gonna invert it. And then I am gonna paint it back in where I want it to be. I do want it low and I need it white because I'm painting it back in. So I can kind of manipulate the shade right now with this part and I like that I can emphasize a little bit those shadows we still have to do the light I see I keep forgetting that I totally keep forgetting that oh we do want that yeah. and this is why I use the uh, curves because all the um, highlights will stay the same and we just well we keep the um, we manipulate the pixels instead of painting it with the brush we paint and with the layer mask and the darkening of the curves we uh, manipulate them so they still stay kind of the same see the difference highlights shadows highlights shadows I kind of like it I really don't know why you guys keep hating the layers and um, clipping masks because this is just it, you, you guys. Y you just see what I did, and it was so easy peasy. And let's, I'm gonna do the same with the highlights because I kinda want it a little further into our face. It is right now, like totally here, and I want it kinda there. It won't be perfect, I know that, but I just want a little bit more of the highlights. So again we go with the curves and this time I'm kind of going to keep it that way. Not, I shouldn't do it too well. I'm going to keep it that way. Well, I'm not going to keep it that way, I'm just going to, I'm not inverting it. And I want a little opacity because her mm -hmm. highlights were very 
low and this is not working white on white her highlights were very high I mean and we still have to make the light match the light from this thing match her and that's gonna be hard because we did all this this shadow so <laughs> we're gonna see what that's gonna do that's gonna go anyway and I can up it a bit just all over the place that's normal for me let me just see because it's a backlight see there's a little rim light also because I think that the floor started about here let's see if we can oh my god it went wrong oh that's the problem Okay, you guys. No, I'm just. I think I need to be on this layer. Darken. Oops, okay. Sorry, that's touch. I do want to. Oh, yeah. I know what it is. Normal. Yep. Hey. Let me just see. Hey. It's still like it just placed there. Like it's not supposed to be there. So I gotta check it out. really know how to fix it because I think if she was really there it would have looked pasted as well because somehow that's really a, not a possibility because I've been working with so many images check them out so much that I learned that sometimes it really looked pasted anyway even though it's real so we are gonna keep it this way i'm just gonna check 23 minutes i think i can finish it off within half an hour and i do want to keep it and check it uh, so don't hold me back if it's not totally totally done because i'm usually i just go in between and send it a lot to my email to my uh, phone to check i think about 20 times 10 times at least and right now I'm just doing it only at the end after this video so I think this is the last part well you saw that I had a lot of uh, actions um, overlays everything just surround if I just collect them make them a collecting thing like I did because you really like to use it Right now I'm looking for natural sunlight, sunlight. And it is, let me just check the image, a bit warm, so it can go warm. Not too cold, but not too warm. Let's see. And I'm just dragging it in. And I put the uh, layer on overlay oh my god what is it in in Dutch I think this is it screen I think it's supposed to be screen yes it's supposed to be screen so I am placing 
Yeah, sometimes I, I uh, put a little um, flame in there first, but I've noticed recently that it's it's not it's it doesn't show it. So we still need to um, fix her a little bit because the shadow over here is just not right and I just like to get a new layer and I up the opacity and I put it up oh, whoopsie that's what happens luckily I knew every one of them was oh. I think I should just control Z. Yes, <laughs> that's better. Um, let me see what I did. Uh, you guys, I gotta check it out. Let's see. I just need to regroup. There's just a lot going on in the background here that is just distracting me. And I wanted a new water layer so just to make it safe <laughs> and I am putting it up yes I'm putting it up and I just needed to check it because I was not sure what I did and really need to make it more in the face. Yeah, sometimes it may seem like I put the shadows on there first and then I just go over it again. And that might be true and sometimes I shouldn't have overdone it. But at this um, right now it's just making it work and, and seem nicer this way so I think this is it this is at least the video I could put in some some uh, fog and everything but I don't think it's needed so I'm just gonna end this video and I'm gonna check it out in a little bit I'll put in the comment of the video if it's altered anyway further and I'll say what I did next because I don't think I need to do anything else or not much else maybe just a little bit about the um, selective color and everything but if I need to do more than that I'll just start in part four so just follow me on my Facebook page uh, that's the YouTube well, on YouTube as well, Digital Artwork by Gertrude Gouné. And on Facebook, Digital Artwork by Gertrude Gouné. And just watch my videos and react and share and everything. Okay, have a nice day.